Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Pastor Jay with another edition of my videos. I, I, I don't have a title yet, so if you guys want to help me out and get a title out, give me some ideas and uh, we'll do this. I want to talk about this video that came out a couple of years ago. There's two different preachers, very, very different styles. One of them, he's a doctor, he's a teacher of the Word of God. Of, about four years ago, four to five years ago, I heard of this man. And ever since then, um, he has been a man that I look up to, I admire, I honor. We may not see eye to eye on every single topic, but my goodness, this guy is a man of God. And I'm not the one that determines whether you're a man of God or not. You know what I'm saying? This is what you teach, what you preach, and how you live. So uh, this man, I'm talking about none other than Dr. John MacArthur. On the other hand, we got this guy who's a, he's a preacher, he's a pastor. Uh, I love a lot of his songs, like Oh Come to the Altar, Give Me Faith, and, and many other songs that he's written with his team. And I'm talking about Elevation Church's pastor, Stephen Furtick. And this goes back to 2012. It was at a Shepherds Conference, and Dr. John MacArthur was asked a question, and he gave a response to what he was asked. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm actually gonna let Stephen Furtick tell you because he heard about it. Check it out. And they were doing the interview and all of a sudden I heard my name on the computer. And I ran back in the room. I was like, that's weird. Did they say my name? And I rewind, rewind the video. And it was a lightning round where the interview guy was asking the theologian what he thought about certain people. And he asked him what he thought about me. He said my name, Stephen Furtick. Now, I thought the theologian was going to say, who? Was what I was expecting. But instead, when he said, you know, what do you think about Stephen Furtick? The theologian, he like gets this real depressed look on his face. <laughs> like this real sad look, this very, this very, very heavy look. His shoulders slumped. Like the mention of my name was, was a burden to the great man, you know? It's like slumps over in his chair like he just got shot or something. He goes, and he goes, unqualified. He says it like that in a deep voice. I had to rewind it. I'm like, I never met him. He doesn't know me. I heard him wrong. And I rewind it. He goes, unqualified. All right. So that's Stephen Furtick describing what he saw. But you guys can see the video yourself, too. It's a very short clip, so check it out. Stephen Furtick. Unqualified. All right, so then the question is, why would Dr. John MacArthur say that Stephen Furtick is unqualified as a preacher or uh, to preach? Look at what Stephen said. It's weird, I didn't get mad. I normally would get, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't. I come from a town of 6,000 people. Of course, I'm unqualified to pastor thousands, but I'm called. I'm called. I'm called. I'm called. See, it's not that I'm qualified. It's, it's not that I'm perfect. It's not that I'm together. It's not that I'm there. It's not that I have arrived. It's not that I never yell at my kids. It's not that I never have road rage. I'm working on it. Pray for me. But in the meantime, I'm called. And he who began a good work in me will be faithful to complete it. And that's why I'm confident, because I'm called. And you know what I did? I wrote a book and I called it Unqualified. Right there on the cover. Read all about it. All right, so even though Steven says that he wasn't upset or anything like that, you can actually tell in his answer that he was upset that this theologian that he studied about, that he read uh, his books, would know who he was and actually say, you know, he's unqualified. So Steven says that, well, I'm not qualified because I come from a small town of 6,000 people, so I'm not qualified to preach to, or be a pastor of thousands. I, I'm, I'm not perfect. I, have it, I don't have it all together, So, th but I'm called. If you notice the look on Stephen Furtick's face when he says, but I'm called. I'm called. I'm called. This is Stephen Furtick being prideful. The Word of God teaches us that we ought to respect our elders. Dr. John MacArthur 
though he is not a perfect man by any means, he still has flaws and so forth. Dr. John MacArthur doesn't say that Stephen Furtick is unqualified as a pastor or, or to be a preacher because he's not perfect. None of us are perfect. We all fall short of God's glory. Dr. John doesn't say that Stephen Furtick is unqualified because he has road rage or any other reason that Stephen mentioned. The reason Dr. John MacArthur says that he's unqualified is because what he teaches. The stuff that Stephen Furtick has said and who he associates with. Stephen Furtick said that God broke the law when he sent Jesus Christ. When you hear his laws, which were given for our good, by the way, but they were powerless because there wasn't enough leverage in our action to keep the law. So what God did when he sent his son, and this is why we get excited in church, and this is why tears fill our eyes when we think about Jesus, and this is why the gospel is still good news in the world today, because God broke the law for love. All right, so there you have it. Did God break the law by sending his son? By no means. The law points to Jesus Christ and it shows that we as people, we, we are imperfect. We cannot keep the law. So God sends his son whom the law points to. No one could keep the entire law. James says, if you break one, you are guilty of all of them. So it points only to Jesus because Jesus was the only one that could keep the entire law. God did not break a law. Uh, when he sent his son, that is dumb. Another reason why why MacArthur says that Stephen isn't qualified to be a preacher is who he associates, the teachings that he teaches. He preaches that the seed is money, that the seed is an offering, but that isn't biblical whatsoever. The Word of God says in Luke 8, 11, that the seed is the Word of God. He associates with none other than T.D. Jakes, above many others that he associates, like Joel Osteen. Joel Osteen and T.D. Jakes deny that Jesus Christ is the only way uh, to heaven. T.D. Jakes also teaches on the Trinity, that the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are three, but there are three individuals who can never come together. They are, can never be pre present at the same time. But yet you look at the baptism of Jesus and you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all together above many other things. So this is the reason why John MacArthur says that Stephen Furtick is unqualified. So if somebody were to say that I'm unqualified to be a teacher or to be preaching the Word of God, I wouldn't be prideful or arrogant and go write a book about it and boast about it by even calling it unqualified. We all understand that God doesn't call the qualified, He qualifies the called. If this would have happened to me, I would have reached out to Dr. John MacArthur because he's an elder, because he's been in ministry for 50 years, because he's been through so much, he has seen so much, he has been preaching and teaching the Word of God faithfully. It is a reason to look up to this man. It is a reason to talk to him and ask him, Dr. John MacArthur, Pastor John, John, I heard that you said that I wasn't qualified. And can you guide me? Can you help me? Can you help me understand why it is that you would think that? How can I improve? What is it that I can do to be more effective uh, in the kingdom of God. That's what I would have done. Humble yourself and reach out to him. Not arrogantly and pridefully go write a book, boast about it and so forth. You know what I'm saying? Who do you guys think is right? Dr. John or Stephen? Which one? You guys let me know down in the comments. Like it, share this video, tag somebody. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. God bless. Bye-bye.